Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Channel Claire. I hope that you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy, crazy world. Now, as you can see by the title, this is going to be a video on, of course, Hate Metal 10. And I say this with the utmost respect and sincerity. I hope that the Princess of Wales, Catherine Kate Middleton, is truly okay. I think for me, with everything that has taken place since it's come upon all of us that she's been MIA, um, since we figured that out, I think for me, what has always not sat right is if I... I feel like they try to gaslight and fuck with us and fuck with our heads. And they did all of that with the pictures, the editing, the Kate video with her walking really fast, the picture of her in the car with her mother, the family portrait, Sans William just all of that before we knew about the cancer announcement i feel like that is why it does not sit right with me and now hearing the news that has dropped today on various different media publications and outlets multiple they're all printing the same thing i feel like if she would have if they would have, because I truly don't think it's her, if her team, whoever the fuck is dealing with this very, very poorly, if they would have done the route of King Charles, none of this would be a thing. But because of what was done prior, it brought so much suspicion, distrust to the point where major outlets, Associated Press, um, you know, I think Getty, like all of these publications saying, outright saying that the palace is not a trustworthy source anymore to them and that they're going to be checking anything that comes out of those offices to see if there's any tampering because it was that bad. And now the news that drops today, whereas, you know, it's so interesting. The British media likes to talk so much about Megan. They make up shit on the daily to print about her. But they're not questioning anything really about this. It's just like a hush. Could you imagine if Megan just went missing? <laughs> God, please. Please. They're still asking about the children. In the real world, if someone was so interested and worried about your children, some person, some stranger on this earth was so worried about your, your children, you would feel like that's weird <laughs> and you would be concerned. Like, why do you care what I do with my kids? You don't need to see them. Like, what right do you have to try to demand to see someone's children and or feel like they don't exist at all? Like they're renting children. They will talk about all of these things, but will not say a word about Kate Middleton. And yes, we know about the cancer and that put a hush over everything. But why did they roll it out the way they rolled it out? All they had to do was follow the path of King Charles. That's all they had to do. The blueprint was right there. Why deviate? There's at least a clash going on between the offices. Can people admit to that? That there's some internal struggle and chaos and conflict in going on within the palace? Because why would they not just follow the blueprint of King Charles? It was shocking that he had cancer too. Okay, so he has cancer. Everybody was shocked for a little bit. And then, you know, you go about your life, unfortunately, because... There's so many things that are happening in this world. So, but because of the way it was done and how they tried to like pull the wool over our eyes, people are speculative and have conspiracies. They don't trust anything and they did it to themselves. 
so now she hasn't been seen since December of 2023. It is now June. All of these things have happened. Weird instances that people will say we can agree to disagree. Um, and now they're saying that she is not going to be taking on the royal after you know her having cancer now she's not going to be taking on the role the role that she previously held as the princess of wales standing beside william doing the public facing events shaking the hands kissing the babies it seems like she's going to be massively behind the scenes and she's not going to be seen anymore and of course because they did all that prior <laughs> people just like they think that like they literally think that the woman is not here or she's being Shelly Miscavige because I mean the lady Shelly went up and missing and people were asking questions asking questions but not really because Scientology they're like weird like that so she's just been missing and nobody knows what the fuck is going on with her and that's just okay <laughs> I know, like, Leah Remini, um, who is a Scientologist and has spoken out against them, um, had a whole show and everything, interesting stuff. Uh, she has tried, has tried very hard to figure out where she is and get legal involved and everything like that, but to no avail, really. So... The theories, I feel like, are warranted simply because of the way they did things. And it's by no fault, I feel, of the Princess of Wales. It is the people who are working and manufacturing this whole ordeal that are around her. And I, my heart goes out because I am just like, I could not imagine being her at this moment with all this foolishness and BS. Like, they have thrown her under the bus multiple times. They're out here allowing these rumors out that she's like passed allowing these rumors out here that William is out being single and that um this Rose Hanbury chick is about to come and take her place they're letting all that out there <laughs> just fester and they see it they have done her such a fucking disservice it is so wild to me it is so wild to me like they have done a huge disservice so like I'm seeing all of these articles, all these publications saying the same thing that essentially we're not going to see her because what's coming up? Tripping colors. I believe the king's going to be there. Yes, he is diagnosed with cancer, but seemingly he's doing well with his treatments because he's been out and about. So, of course, they had to come out and say something because people may have potentially been expecting to see her and they were going to squash that. Now, of course, none of this is coming officially out of the palaces. They're not making any statements or anything like that. But obviously, it's being pushed from somewhere, some comps team, some PR team, for it to be spread out to all these publications saying the same thing and having the same headline. Like, so um, it's just more weird things. Um, I wonder if you are one of the people who watched my videos and who staunchly have said from the beginning that none of this is weird. I want to know at this point after like these articles coming out, are you still like, do you feel that, do you feel worried at all? Do you feel any need to be concerned at all? Because yes, yeah, she has cancer and we don't know how those treatments are going, obviously, because they haven't even said that and made a statement about you know her treatments are going well they're not going well etc cetera, etc cetera. they haven't even done that so we don't know so she could be doing very poorly um but it just sounds like kind of like a setup for something more like there's going to be another announcement of something else that's not good and it's just a fucking mess and my heart goes out to them it's a young family and i was just seeing i saw an article there um apparently there's like people even younger and younger getting cancer um it's just such a horrific disease that is in everybody's lives and it's really i just don't believe that there's not a cure i just don't believe that but um 
Yeah, so let's kind of look at this article real quick. Okay, so page six says, Kate Middleton may never come back to her previous royal role after cancer treatment. Kate Middleton's role within the British royal family may look a little different following her cancer diagnosis and treatment. So does that mean the treatment isn't going well since her role is going to look different? The Princess of Wales, who, has, who was once front and center with husband Prince William on royal engagements, may never come back to the role that we saw her before. An insider told US Weekly. The source added that she is reevaluating what she's going to be able to take on when she comes back after undergoing preventative chemo treatments for her cancer. It's such so preventative it it's such a conflicting statement to say preventative chemo like anyway. We're gonna leave it at that. But she's reevaluating. And I wonder like if it has anything to do with her how she looks um if the treatment has unfortunately uh, done harm to her hair like hair loss or you know and now I'm just sitting here thinking like that photo that we saw of Kate with her mom in the car I'm sitting here thinking maybe that was really Kate and once they saw the reaction that we all had, they were like, oh, no, 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 no. We, we can't put her out like that. Or she felt, oh, no, I can't be put out like that. I think that some medication can have a potential to make you look more swollen. Um, so maybe that was the real Kate. But then that Kate looked completely different to the Kate that was in the photo edited pictures and the video where she was walking really fast, you know, supposedly that was Kate um but I'm like maybe that was her and maybe that's the reason she doesn't want to be seen and now she's reevaluating like coming back because she did look very different from what I'm you know what we see the photos in this article um but it's just very ominous very ominous that she's just not coming back at all furthermore Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliam noted that when Middleton is able to return to her royal duties, it will be based on medical advice and will be very carefully balanced, as it should, because you don't want to be overworked and then, you know, have a setback. Um, the report comes after a source told the Daily Beast that she may not appear publicly for the rest of the year. Mm, 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 mm. This is, it's, it's ominous. It's just ominous. And I'm looking at these pictures they have of her and William in this page six article. And I'm just like, I hope this is not a case of William doing her dirty and that it's actually, actually, I mean, either way is bad. Either way is bad. Any way you try to twist it and turn it, whatever scenario is happening behind the scenes and in these palaces are not good. It's just not. So that's essentially what the article is saying. I did want to go in here and read the comments of what people were thinking. Um, so underneath page six in the comments, it says, uh, we called this a long time ago. She never wanted to be a full-time working royal. And I'm just going to preface this. These are these people's thoughts, not my thoughts, okay? Uh, she never wanted to be a full-time working royal. She literally briefed the press that she made it clear she wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. No doubt she had cancer, but definitely definitely using her recovery to finally get what she wants, which is no royal work. That has 275 likes. I don't really agree with that. I don't agree with that. Um, so many royal family members have gotten cancer. Has anyone questioned the water quality inside of the castle? For heaven's sakes, it's as if page six would have any info on this. But it's like not just page six. It was USA Today. It's the New York Post. It's page. It's multiple different publications with the same fucking headline. Um, what is wrong with you? She had a major abdominal surgery. She had cancer and is undergoing chemo. We are barely six months into the year. It takes a long time to recover from surgery, let alone going through chemo, which can wipe the floor with you show some fucking compassion and that has 1.4k likes now i understand the sentiment but literally they're just posting saying that kate may not come back into her previous royal royal role that's it they're not saying anything bad about her they're not diminishing her character they're not saying any of that 
So maybe she's talking to people within these comments, but literally they're just reporting on it. And page six is not the only publication that reported on this. They're just letting people know what's going on, kind of, sort of, through some mysterious insider. Yep, sounds like divorcing and living separate lives. Proof of life, please. Damn, what will we do without her? Um, yeah, the royal, the source of royal news naturally is an American tabloid. Well, they do. They do push out stories via U.S. tabloids. They just do. Um, if she had colon cancer, she may have ended up with a bag that would definitely change her life forever. Horrible thought, but I've known lots of people with cancer who don't disappear like this. And that's very true. My Nana had cancer and she still wanted to be out and about as much as she could. Um, and then when she couldn't, she, you know, it was sad that she couldn't do the things she wanted to do because her mind still wanted to be out and about, but her body wasn't allowing it. Um, and just other people, unless their bodies don't allow for it, typically they're trying to be like live their life with some type of normalcy and or go out and enjoy life as best as they can because cancer, you never know what's going to happen. So they're trying to be out there, spend time with their loved ones, families, have experiences, this, that, and the other, because who knows? Um, <clears throat> so half in and half out, laughs and Harry and Megan. Oh, Lord. Smells like BS to me. Nonsense. A slew of red herrings. What will be their approach when three months becomes nine months and nine months becomes a year and so on and so on? What are the circumstances in which uh, people will become uneasy surrounding the cake being MIA? I mean, that's true. So there is no such thing as we pay you pose or was that only for Harry and Meghan and Archie only? Getting the red carpet prepared for a divorce announcement. So, that was under page six. I wanted to see if underneath the New York Post, if their comments are any different. They may have a slightly different audience and thoughts may vary from publication to publication. So let me go under there. So the comments under the New York Post are similar. Um, they Dianaed her. Did they disappear her? So all of those appearances were fake. William getting everyone out of the way to get the crown. She's already gone. Wish they would just tell the truth. Okay, folks, she is indeed dead. Kate has been silenced. She's gone. So, like, uh, under New York Post, they're very much uh, under... Uh, they are under the impression that Kate is just not here, which really infuriates me because, like, why is the royal family letting people say that she's not here and that she's dead or she's in a coma? or this, They're just allowing that mess to be out there and I hope that's not the case this is a polite way of saying she's about to kick the can I'm sorry but we know she's not with us anymore wow mm -mm -mm. she is the queen so she has to come back I mean we don't <laughs> I mean she would be the queen if her and William are in fact together staying together and then there's not type, no type of divorce going on okay then yes she would be the future queen but how would that work if she is the queen yet we're not going to ever see her i believe elizabeth said like a big part of being uh, and being a monarch and being the queen was to be seen um that's the least you can do i guess when you are being publicly funded so yes she is going through cancer but i wonder how that's going to work if her and william are still together uh, William becomes king is it still like where she's going to be queen but we never see her you can't come back if you're murdered they're slowly phasing her out I just love her and I am very sad yeah so people are under the impression at least online that something very fishy is going on it's all sketchy and at the end of the day we don't know what's going on behind closed doors you don't know what's going on behind my closed doors. I don't know what's going on behind your closed doors. We have not a clue. We're just speculating. But it's gotten to this fever pitch because of everything they did prior to the announcement of her cancer diagnosis when all they had to do was follow King Charles's blueprint.
that's it so we will keep watching we will keep waiting and updating um we likely will not be seeing her trooping trooping the colors um there was reports out that she's not going to be seen for the rest of the year we're now getting reports out that she's not coming back to her royal role as she once was prior to the cancer diagnosis so there is no word on how kate is doing in her cancer treatment if she's doing well if she's doing unwell but from them saying that she's not going to be seen and from them saying that she's not going to be in the same role it's implying that something's not well in my mind but i will see you guys in another video love to hear your thoughts